the device manager Whatcom has selected USB to serial conversion. But anyway, this is 9600 is speed, 9600 bits per second. That's a default speed for terminal emulation. And click open, you're inside the router. In the packet tracer, what we did is just go to the laptop, same terminal, same as if you click the putty and click over open or OK in that case, and you're inside the router. Okay, now once we're inside the router, the first mode that we on we are on is called a user mode or user exec command router or user exec mode. Now in the user mode, it's very limited in this mode what you can do. Um, you can do few ping, few show commands. You can go to a different mode from this mode, but it's very limited what you can do. So if I go to uh, say here in the laptop and uh, I click no, I type no. Now this continue with configuration dialog. This message will display if there's no startup configuration. If the startup configuration is missing or it hasn't been configured, you will get this message. If you have a startup configuration, you will not get this message. If you click yes, it will just like start like a wizard. It will ask you a series of questions and you need to answer. And then it will configure depending on your answers. At the moment, it's going to ask us some questions that we not we haven't learned. So for now, click no or press uh, type no, I should say, and press enter. Now you need to press enter again to see what mode. Now important thing here to note, it's not this name, router, because router is a default, that's a default name, but it's this mode or is this uh, character. For example, uh, here we have a, a greater than sign. So if I open a notepad here, let me open the notepad. We have router and then this sign. Now I'll say the here is not important. It's just a name. The important thing is this sign or the character here. Now this one is telling us uh, what mode we are on at the moment. Here in this mode, it's called a user mode. User mode or incorrect user exec mode, but user mode in this mode. There's not a lot that we can do. So if I go to uh, Packet Tracer again, um, not the router, I said laptop. Now in this user mode, if I press a question mark, what I did, I just pressed the question mark. I didn't press enter or anything. And it's displaying all the commands that are available on this mode. Uh, not a lot. In real devices, there might be some more, but not a lot. Not as much as you would get on the mm, more privileged modes. Now, for example, the few things that you can do here, you can do a ping, few ping, you can telnet, uh, telnet, you can do some show commands, not a lot. Okay, now this is the first mode. The user mode is same like in the Windows, like normal user. For you to be able to do something, like configure or see everything, then you have to go to more privileged mode. To do that, type enable and press enter. Now you can see that the uh, marker has changed to a hash sign. Now this one, if I go to my notepad, we type we were here and we type enable and the sign has changed to this. Now this is telling us that we are in the privileged mode. And the privileged mode is like, uh, I don't know, in Windows guys, uh, uh, administrator can do anything. You know, no, uh, no restrictions. Or in the Linux guys, it's like a sudo. You can do pretty much everything. So in this mode, that's it. We are inside the router. We can do whatever we want. Okay. If you want to go back to the user mode, from this mode you'd need to type disable, and that will take you back to the user mode. Okay. So if you want to go to the privilege mode, you type enable. And that will go take you to privilege mode. If you want to go back to the user mode, you type disable. Okay. 
So let's try that. So let's go. Here we go. Now, you can see this uh, mark or this character, I want you to pay attention to it more, right? Because that's more important. Uh, let me just try and increase this text. So okay, so what I want to do now is I want to increase the te text so you can see it a bit better. Uh, once it, once I'm inside here, yeah, see it's a bit too small. So I do that by going to options, then preferences, then here on the font, I have the the choice. The CLI maybe I want to increase that to say 14. And different kind of characters. Um, the how it will look for the routers iOS text and router's iOS background. I like the background to be black and the text to be yellow. And then on the PC, uh, the background to be black and the text to be green. So I know that when I'm configuring the router or when I'm configuring the PC from the PC. Okay, so apply. I go back to um, laptop and terminal line. Ah, that didn't take effect. So I go to the router. That's just for command prompt. So I go to the router. Uh, here we go that's a bit better okay so this is telling us we are in user mode when we went when we type enable we went from the user mode to the privilege mode now in the privilege mode there's more um, you have full access to the router you can do your configurations okay so privilege exec mode now here all user exec commands debug commands reload configure everything is available but you can't do the configuration on this mode. For you to do the configuration, you have to go to another mode, right? Up one level. Now this is called a global configuration mode. So any global, any configuration that you do here will take effect globally. But you have to be on the right mode. You can't just like jump. It's like a steps, stepping stone here. So I can't go here and I, I can't go from this mode the global mode so first thing I need to do is go to the privilege mode by typing enable so now once I'm in the privilege mode I can see the sign there it's telling me I'm in the privilege mode I type configure terminal okay now you can see that it has changed how it looks like right the prompt the prompt has changed so in here it says config now that's telling me right away that I'm in the global configuration mode and I'm in the privilege mode. So from privilege mode, I went to the global configuration mode. Now global configuration mode is means that any configuration that you do here, it will take effect globally on the router. So it's configuration that we can do here. For example, we can change the name of the router. That will take globally. So effect globally. So let's let's change the name. So host name, let's give it London. Okay, so now we change the name of the router to London excellent and we can do that from this mode not any other mode can do that so if you want to go back to the privilege mode we can type exit so we are moving away from the global configuration mode back to the privilege mode so x press enter again now you can see the the prompt has changed just it's telling us that we are in privilege mode if you want to go back to the user mode disable now we are in user mode Okay, if to go to the global configuration mode, first from the user mode, we have to go to the privilege mode and then the global. So if I type configure terminal here, it's not gonna work. We have a problem because we are in the right mode. So first thing you need to do is check what mode you're in. Okay, so I'm here in the user mode. So I need to type enable. Now I'm in the privilege mode. I can type configure terminal. me now okay now I'm in the global configuration mode any configuration I do here will take effect globally but to do more specific configuration for example I want to configure the the port the console port now that to configure that port or anything more specific you need to go to more specific modes for example say that you want to configure the first fast Ethernet interface which is zero zero fast Ethernet interface. So you need to type interface 